Hey everybody, uh, today I want to talk about our brand new Sonic Transporter i7 Generation 3. Um, we just got these uh, from the factory and uh, I'm pretty excited about them. They did a really, really nice job on these. You can see this uh, case is milled from a single block of aluminum, so there's like no seams on any of the, uh, the corners. Um, they made this really nice 19-inch uh, rack mount bracket for it that comes off. Uh, so that way, you know, if you rack mount your equipment, you can slide it into the rack. Uh, if you don't rack mount your equipment, then you just pop this thing off and it has little feet that, that go on it. Um, the sign transporter is kind of our middle of the line product. Uh, it has the same processor, you know, it's a, it's an Intel i7 processor. It's the same processor as the Nucleus Plus, not the, you know, the entry level Nucleus. And it's really great for large music collections, for uh, upsampling. I mean, an i7 is a really, really fast uh, processor. Some of the other uh, features of this thing that are they're uh, kind of cool is this uh, this little CD drive here. Um, it's actually a DVD drive. I like DVD drives. They have a little more accurate mechanism than a regular uh, CD drive. This does not. It's not for DVDs. We're only using this to rip, you know, regular Redbook audio CDs. Uh, so yeah, you just drop a CD in here and it's going to rip it to you and, you know, for you and, and store it on the internal hard drive. Shows up in Rune or whatever music player software you're, you're working on. It's a nice little, nice little feature. Um, we're going to go back here and look at the, look at the back. Uh, you know, we've got our Ethernet uh, port. That's pretty much all you need to get it working. Uh, we have a, an external power supply. This thing is completely fanless. There's no moving parts in this at all. That's good for for all for noise, uh, both acoustic noise and electrical noise, and so we have a little you know a little power brick that 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 powers this thing. You also see we got a couple of USB ports uh, here. You can plug in a um, a USB hard drive with music on it if you want to access that. Uh, we also have this neat little internal drive bay here. See if you push this switch, um, this little door uh, opens, and you can uh, put put your hard drive right in here. So that's uh, that's a no no tool installation, right? It goes. I mean, I'm just gonna put this put this down so it goes a little better. So there you go. It's like uh, in there now. And then yeah, you just go in the in the interface for this, format the drive, then you can copy all your music over the over the network onto the Sonic transporter. So here I took the uh, the rack mount uh, bracket off and put the the little feet on it. Uh, you know, again, both of these kits come with it. So this is like what we call tabletop mode. It's it's actually kind of the size of an old uh, CD player or, or DVD player, I think. Uh, so it you know it fit, fits pretty well on a rack. Uh, one of the questions we get a lot on our website is what the difference is between our, our different uh, server products. Um, I do have another video about that. Uh, there's also a little product matrix that kind of shows all the different features and uh, what is what. But uh, just to, to summarize that, um, we have the i5, which has an i5 CPU. It's very fast. It has 8 gigs of RAM. That's more than double the spec for room, so that works great. Um, this one has an i7 CPU and 16 gigs of RAM, so it's basically double the CPU, double the RAM. Um, and then, yeah, it has this the CD ripping drive and, uh, you know, the larger case and the, and the rack mount option. Uh, the other product we have is the i9. That's even faster. Um, uh, we have we have other videos uh, where we talk about that. So, yeah, new new Sonic Transporter i7. Great, you know, middle of the line option. You know, a lot of a lot of features. Runs room really good. Um, yeah, check it out.